Last year, I opened the evening with a working definition of the word volunteer. And tonight, I'd like to open with a quote from Helen Steiner Rice that sums up the sacrificial nature of volunteerism. Ms. Rice said, in this troubled world, it's refreshing to find someone who still has the time to be kind. Someone who still has the faith to believe that the more you give, the more you receive. Someone who's ready by thought, word, or deed to reach out a hand in the hour of need. And indeed, in this day and age of materialistic wealth and success being measured through individual accomplishments, it is right that we pause to acknowledge individuals like the ones you are about to meet this evening. These giving people often put their own agendas aside to focus on assisting others. Or, as Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. put it, we are prone to judge success by the index of our salaries or the size of our automobiles, rather than by the quality of our service relationship to humanity. Tonight, we celebrate all that these volunteers do to brighten our lives. To all of you in this room who volunteer in any way, anywhere, let me just say thank you for thinking of others. To our award winners, thanks for doing such an exemplary job that your organization took the time to nominate you. Please understand that your efforts do not go unnoticed and that your sacrifices are truly appreciated. For just one night at least, instead of things being centered on something or someone else, tonight it's about you. I'd like to welcome everybody uh, who's here this evening. And, uh, and as we begin preparing our homes and our families for the season of Thanksgiving, I think it's great to be able to get together and celebrate what is one of the many, many good things in our community. As Ken mentioned, I think it's a real treat with all the negative articles in the newspaper these days, whether it be about the state of the economy, or the government bailout, or global warming, or our over-reliance on foreign oil, or about the unrest in the Middle East, you, you take your pick. It's nice to be able to set all that aside for one night and do something that's nothing but positive. My thanks to the Volunteer Recognition Committee for the second annual evening of thanks. I'd like to, uh, just for a minute, just comment about all the, all the clubs and, and civic organizations and churches and PTAs and, and all the organizations that are, are, are nominating someone to come forward and receive some recognition tonight. If, if any of you have ever heard me speak at one of your events in the last eight years, you know, this will sound familiar. You're, these clubs, these civic organizations, these service clubs, you are the heart and soul of our community. You are, you are what makes things work in this community. You're what makes Lansing a community, not just a town to live in. For a lot of years, I've called you the social infrastructure that makes this town feel special, gives it character, and again, makes it feel like community. In my opinion, when people consider moving to a town, after they check on the state of the schools, they ought to check on the status of volunteer groups in that town to see if it has anything to offer. Last year, our first year for this event, we had 26 nominees for this special recognition and had 190 guests for dinner. Tonight, Roger is proud and happy to say that we have 37 nominees and 258 guests for dinner. Our first honoree, the nomination is by the American Legion Auxiliary Unit 697. Our honoree is Lorraine Pridwell. She has been a member of Unit 697 for 11 years. She has been president and currently serves as first vice president and has chaired many committees including education, past president's parley, gold star member, membership, Americanism, and veterans rehab fund raffle. She also volunteers time at both Oak Forest and Hines hospitals and is also the first to visit or send cards to elderly or sick members. Ladies and gentlemen, Lorraine Prisner. Our second nominee from Calvin Coolidge School PTA is Miss Donna Gill. Donna volunteers to do whatever is needed by the Coolidge PTA and does so with a smile. She is always willing to help with virtually any job in the PTA and the school in general. She has stepped up and continued the stop, drop, and go program enduring the heat, rain, sleet, and snow to ensure the safety of the students arriving and departing school. She is our special volunteer. Ladies and gentlemen, Donna Gill. Our next honoree from Camp Quality, Illinois, is Tom Lockton. Tom has been involved with Camp Quality, Illinois since its inception in 1995. He has been the treasurer, equipment coordinator, and food service coordinator. He has done anything and everything for the camp, 
and it could not have been as successful without his dedication and experience. From Camp Quality, Illinois, your honoree, Tom Lockett. From the Colombian Ladies of Lansing, Ms. Frances Miller. Fran has served many years on the executive board and has always been a very active member of the organization. She has volunteered for many of their charitable events and is always our representative for religious celebrations within the community. From the Colombian Ladies of Lansing, your honoree, Frances Miller. From the First United Methodist Church, the honoree, Mr. Robert Bowles. Bob is on, or has been on, or will be on, every committee in support of our church. He is currently the treasurer, member of the finance, endowment, and building committees, and on the church council. He also sings in the choir and delivers Meals on Wheels. Bob loves genealogy and began a genealogy society. He is always looking for new fundraisers and would do anything to help the church. From the First United Methodist Church, your honoree, Mr. Robert Bull. Our next award winner is from the Friends of Lansing Library. The honoree is Tony Webster. Tony has been a member of the Friends of Lansing Public Library since its inception in 2004 and is currently serving as chairperson of the Friends Fundraising Committee. She collects and assembles items for the raffle baskets and assists with the Friends annual wine tasting event. Tony's current fundraiser is helping library patrons go green with canvas book bags. Whenever help is needed, we can count on Tony to lend her time, energy, and creativity. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Tony Webster from the Friends of Lansing Library. Our next nominee from Grace Reform Church, Jan Van Ramshorst. Jan has been a Refugee Youth Ministry Volunteer Office staff member for over six years. She has been on the nursery staff for Coffee Break, Windy City Ministry staff for Joliet NASCAR Coffee Break, and a Bible study leader for many years. She was also involved with the Pause with Cause program as a trainer for service dogs. From the Grace Reform Church, your honoree, Jan Van Ramsort. Our next nominee from the Hospice of the Calumet area, the honoree is Helen Cedarholm. Helen has visited and called hospice patients and their bereaved families for over 11 years, helping so many during such difficult times. She also assists in the hospice office and with memorial services. She is a caring and faithful volunteer. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Hospice of the Calumet area, Ms. Helen Cedarholm. Our next nominee, from Ileana Christian High School, Ms. Debbie Brummel. Debbie has been an active member of our Parents Involved in Education group for many years. She has served as board of directors and helped with the Hot Lunch program. She has spent countless hours handling Ileana spirit wear sales. Debbie is to be commended for her many hours volunteering in support of Ileana Christian High School. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Debbie Brummel. Our next award winner, Nominated by the Lansing Business Women's Association is Ms. June Cole. June presently serves as Vice President for the Lansing Business Women's Association and is a very active member promoting women in business. She took charge of the bingo project for the residents of Buford Walker Housing. This endeavor was so well received, we have been asked to do it again. She always volunteers her time, talent, and wisdom to any worthy endeavor and is definitely an asset to Lansing and the Lansing Business Women's Association. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. June Cole. The Lansing Business Women's Association is pleased to once again present the annual Athena Award this evening. They also wish to convey a special thanks to the three sponsors, the First National Bank, North Shore Holdings, and Schultz Insurance. Without their assistance, this prestigious award could not have been presented. The Athena Award is an international program that seeks to inspire others to achieve excellence. The sculpture is presented to a recipient, male or female, who demonstrates excellence in their business or their profession, devotes time and energy to their community in a meaningful way, and generously assists women in attaining their full leadership potential. The 2008 Athena Award recipient certainly has embodied the meaning of assisting women throughout education. She has spent most of her working career, which spans over 30 years, as a first grade educator. In the classroom, her tireless efforts provided an enormous positive impact on the personal growth, 
and development of over a thousand young children by providing the best possible platform for learning. Her strong commitment to excellence helped her students master their educational goals while building their confidence for the future. Away from the classroom, she became involved in many aspects of our community to help it develop into one of the best places to live and work in the state of Illinois. As she always took her volunteer jobs seriously and did her best to make them successful. As a member of the TF South Booster Club, she was instrumental in starting one of their most successful annual fundraisers, the Spring Fashion Show. She coached the TF South girls swim team for over 20 years, helping numerous young women achieve and develop as female athletes and team players. Not only was she a top quality teacher of young children, she also took on a top leadership role in our local elementary school district, 158, having served on the board of directors for the past eight years and as president for the last four years. Using her expertise as a retired teacher, she has passionately supported new reading and math initiatives that have allowed the 2,500 students in the district to experience maximum educational opportunities. Currently, she is providing oversight responsibility for the construction of the new Memorial Junior High School facility. Since 1995, she has served as a hearing officer for the Village of Lansing's local adjudication program. She's a past member of the Lansing Junior Women's Club and has been an active member of our Savior Lutheran Church, serving as a Sunday school teacher and member of the church council. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce the 2008 Athena Award winner, Miss Suzanne Long. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your 2008 Athena Award winner, Mrs. Suzanne Long from the Lansing Church of Christ. I'm pretty sure is honoree Sarah Morgan. Sarah has shown excellent discipleship with aggressive nature to serve the Lord and the community. She spearheaded a free back to school supply giveaway, a coat drive, and a spiritual weekly radio broadcast. She also coordinates contractors for bids. She canvasses the community, advises our youth, and makes herself available in support of other church functions that others may be reluctant to take on. From the Lansing Church of Christ, Miss Sarah Morgan. Our next award winner, from the Lansing Golden K Kiwanis, the honoree, Mr. Ray Scahill. Mr. Scahill has served as the president for the past six years. His leadership was evident in the coordination of the many tag and peanut day fundraisers. He is the publicity person for the Lansing Golden K Kiwanis, and is involved in everything that they do as a club, and he plays a vital role in the success of the Lansing Golden Cave. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ray Skagel. From the Lansing Historical Society, Mr. Donald Olson. Donald has served as secretary and president during his 12 years with the society. Most recently, Don chaired the committee to preserve all of the Lansing Journal newspapers dating from the 1930s and serves as advisor to the current board of directors. Don also played an important role with the public art project, Tri Motors in Plain View, which raised $65,000 to restore our historic Ford hangar and the Lansing Municipal Airport. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Don Olson. From the Lansing Junior Women's Club, Mrs. Carrie Steinway. Carrie has been a dedicated member of the club for nine years. She helped organize the Martini Tree Planting Project. Can you plant one of those in my backyard? <laughs> Started the Stay Safe Essay Contest, coordinated nursing home visits, and preschool story times. Carrie also collects items to send to our troops overseas, and she helps the club with all of its fundraising efforts. From the Lansing Junior Women's Club, Ms. Carrie Steinway. Our next nominee, from the Lansing Knights of Columbus, Mr. Dennis Sullivan. Dennis has taken care of the swim club for the Knights for the past 25 years. The swim club is for special needs children that love to be on a team and swim with others. Every year, Dennis and his coaches take a team to the Special Olympics where his teams always come home with a basket of medals. Dennis is a person that all of you should know. From the Lansing Knights of Columbus, Mr. Dennis Sullivan. Our next award winner from Lansing Lions Club, Mr. Robert Boggs, Jr. Robert is the treasurer of the Lansing Lions Club, a former president, and has chaired the Candy Day, 
annual steak fry and Cadillac raffle fundraisers since joining the club in 1991. He was recognized by Lions Club International as its Melvin Jones Fellows Award recipient, which is the highest honor for outstanding humanitarian work in his community and club. He is a member of our Academic Scholarship Committee and our District 1 A-Zone Chairman. As a Lion, Robert exemplifies the motto, We Serve. He is always there to lend a hand to our community. Ladies and gentlemen, Robert Boggs Jr. From Lansing Meals on Wheels, the honoree, Ms. Mary Clark. Mary has been delivering meals for more years than most can remember. She was always ready to help anyone in need. When friends had newborn triplets, she was there to help feed them every single morning. Her life has and will continue to revolve around helping others. From Lansing Meals on Wheels, Miss Mary Clark. <laughs> From the Lansing Old Timers Babe Ruth Baseball Program is Mr. Bob Barrage. Bob has been the treasurer, secretary, and a coach in their league. His organizational skills and ability to communicate with all members of the organization has kept the league focused on what is really important, and that's boys playing baseball. He is the guy who does all the little things that make our organization successful. From the Lansing Old Timers Babe Ruth Baseball Program, Mr. Bob Barrett. From the Lansing Old Timers Softball Program, the honoree is Mr. Larry Davidson. Larry has been a coach for the past nine years and is always promoting new ideas to help improve the league. This past season, he coached two teams, and he not only coaches his own children, but he also teaches the other girls in the league equally in the fundamentals of the game, sportsmanship, and fair play. Larry is truly a special volunteer. From the Lansing Old Timers Softball Program, Mr. Larry Davidson. From the Lantering Rotary Club is Mr. Ed Lugowski, Jr. In 1976, after listening to his friend talk in glowing terms about the LARC program, Ed volunteered to serve on their board of directors and continues to serve on that board to this day, using his skills to provide a great workplace for developmentally disabled adults. His sons attended St. Anne's School, and he volunteered to serve on the sports committee as the football program coordinator for 10 years. He joined the Lansing Rotary Club, stay there, Ed, there's a lot here, serving as president four times, where for the past 30 years, he has worked to give back to his community. He has worked with our college scholarship program, citizenship awards, our dictionary program for all third grade children in Lansing schools, and donations for local charities like LARC, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, and the Lansing Food Pantry. Today, he still finds time to serve as chapter president of the American Institute of Architects. From the Lansing Rotary Club, Mr. Ed Lugowski, Jr. From Lansing School District 158, the honoree is Mr. Jerome Kern. Jerry is known to the thousands of students who have attended District 158 during his 37-year tenure on the board as a person with high expectations and a strong commitment to excellence. Putting the children first is the district's model and all of Jerry's decisions, both as a board member and distinguished member of the Lansing community, give those words true meaning. Jerry has also volunteered his time and energy to the Lansing Chamber of Commerce, the Village of Lansing Planning and Zoning Board, and the Coolidge Elementary School PTA. Jerry's years of service speak to his loyalty and dedication to District 158 and the entire Lansing community. From Lansing School District 158, Mr. Jerry Kerr. From the Lansing Swim Organization, or LSO as they're more commonly known, the honoree is Ms. Nancy Freisack. Volunteers are the cornerstone of any successful organization. A good volunteer is one who sees a need and takes the initiative to fulfill the need. Nancy is someone the Lansing Swim Organization has been able to rely on, and she always makes sure that the needs of everyone involved are met. She is the ultimate volunteer, and the LSO is fortunate to have her on our team. From the Lansing Swim Organization, Nancy Freisack. From the Lansing Women's Club, the honoree, Debbie Bach. According to the Lansing Women's Club, Debbie is their special volunteer. She is currently the club president and a member of the Lansing Junior Women's Club. She is also very active at the state level. She remembers all of the members on holidays with cards and was instrumental in their project to provide handmade blankets for needy children through the Lansing Fire Department. Debbie is dedicated to everything she does. From the Lansing Women's Club, the honoree, Debbie Bach. Our next award winner from Luther East High School is Michelle Burke. Michelle is an indispensable member of the Luther East family. Under her leadership as president of the parents' organization, she
She has raised unprecedented funds for the school's ministry. She is a tireless worker whose leadership is complemented by a positive, friendly, can-do spirit. From Luther East High School, Michelle Burns. From Memorial Junior High School, the honoree, Lorraine Boucher. Lorraine has served as Memorial Junior High School's PTA president for the past two years. She has displayed a willingness to work collaboratively with the school's parents and teachers. Under her guidance and support, the PTA has been able to provide students with opportunities and activities that go above and beyond the regular school day to strengthen an essential homeschool connection. From Memorial Junior High School, the award winner, Lorraine Boucher. The award winner from Nathan Hale School is Carrie Lake. Carrie serves as the president of the Sunnybrook School District 171 PTA. Her coordinated efforts and drive have contributed to the successes of the most important fundraising activities that the district has instilled. She is an extraordinary, compassionate volunteer, and her good deeds and contributions have greatly benefited the staff, students, parents, and the Lansing and Linwood communities. From Nathan Hale School, the honoree, Carrie Link. Our next nomination is from the Oak Glen School PTA. The honoree, a two-time award winner this evening, Carrie Steinway. Carrie has served as secretary of the PTA and chair of our newsletter and Adopt a Soldier, making sure that those who sacrifice so much for us are remembered and appreciated. She has been a room mom, helps with snack day, and recently chaperoned a field trip while, while recovering from a broken arm. All of this while performing her primary job of being mother to five boys. She also invests her time and energy with the Lansing Junior Women's Club, Meals on Wheels, a writer for the Hammond Times, maintains a parenting blog, and is a published author. Carrie is someone who would prefer not to be in the spotlight, but gives freely from the heart and not for the accolades. She is one who goes the extra mile for her family and community. Ladies and gentlemen, Carrie Steinway. Our next nominee from Reva School is Dawn Gertensen. Dawn has played a role in our school for the past four years. She serves as the president of the Reva PTA, working to benefit all of the students in our school. She has also volunteered as a room parent and learning resource center. Reva School has benefited greatly from her leadership and her involvement. From WC Reva School, Dawn Gertensen. From St. Anne Church, the honoree, Jim Biss. Jim is our parish paparazzi, our own resident photographer. He volunteers his time and energy with our monthly stewardship newsletter. He is also involved with our parish Bible study and men's club. He enjoys a quick wit and always wears a smile for all those he comes in contact with. Jim is someone you can count on to help. From St. Anne Church, the honoree, Jim Biss. From St. Anne School, the honoree is Denise Johnson. Denise has played an integral role in the school's Tuition Reduction Incentive Program, or TRIP, as many of us know it, a program where parents may purchase certificates through the school to use at selected grocery and retail stores and restaurants. Denise, please put a limit on my wife's contributions in that program. <laughs> the more certificates the parents purchase, the more credit they receive to reduce their tuition, a win-win situation. Denise continues to coordinate the program even after both of her daughters have long since graduated from the school. She gives generously of her time and her dedication to the school through volunteering. It's admirable and most appreciated by the school's parents, faculty, and staff. From St. Anne's School, Denise Johnson. Our next nominee, this would be considered a home game for her. From the St. Arch Archangel Michael Church and Serbian Social Center, the honoree is Nancy Kolakovic. Nancy is a member of the church who serves as a full-time volunteer. She helped in the establishment of the church's bookstore and gift shop in 1995 and has overseen its activities for the past 13 years. She has served as president of the Ladies Guild and donated her time as chairperson of the Serbian Social Center's operations serving as general manager of this facility. Her favorite expression is working for the Lord doesn't pay much, but the retirement plan is out of this world. <laughs> From St. Anne Archangel Michael Church and Serving Social Center, Nancy Kolakovic. From St. John's Lutheran Church, the honoree is Harold or Hal Kronwald. Hal is one who does a tremendous amount of volunteering for that church. His passion includes running their dartball team, singing in the choir, 
and playing in our tribe choir. He spends time visiting with the sick and shut-in members of the church. He helps with our altar guild, elders, ushers, day school, bulletin, and newsletter. He is the one who plays the role model of father to me. From St. John's Lutheran Church, the honoree, Harold Al Romal. Our next nominee from St. John's Lutheran School is Karen Maceo. Karen is truly a blessing to the St. John congregation and day school. Karen is a member of the Parent Teacher League Executive Board, Girl Scout Leader, serves on the Fellowship Committee and Altar Guild. She is their fundraising organizer and is a lunchroom monitor. Everything that Karen does enhances the family atmosphere at St. John's. From St. John's Lutheran School, the winner, Karen Maceo. We will need to switch roles for this next award winner. Pinch hitting for Mike Mano on the giving end is Bob McCarthy. <laughs> this nominee from the Thornton Fractional South Booster Club, the honoree is Mr. Mike Mano. <laughs> Mike has served as president of the Booster Club for the past 13 years. He takes on a mountain of responsibilities for the betterment of our sports programs. He encourages parent membership, runs the concession stand for football games, and orders the spirit wear to promote school spirit. Mike also helps with the chicken dinner and fashion show fundraising events. The Booster Club, under Mike's leadership, has supplied as much as $35,000 in equipment to support the school sports teams. Mike never needs a thank you and does it all for the kids of the community. The winner from the Thornton Fractional South Booster Club, well-deserved Mr. Mike Mano. From Thornton Fractional South High School, is Mrs. Sue Seymour. Sue is a selfless individual who always puts the needs of the students first. Whether it is working a concession stand, organizing a fundraiser, or selling spirit wear, Sue is always willing to help. Her role is as a supporter of the school, but her primary purpose is always the same, to help the students and staff at TF South by volunteering in any way possible to make the school a better place. The number of hours she has donated for the benefit of school and its students is remarkable, and we are so fortunate to have such a caring individual. From TF South High School, this is Sue Seymour. From Trinity Lutheran Church, my former neighbor right across the street, the honoree is Will Holbison. Will knows the dignity of honest labor working as a carpenter with his hands. Will is a trustee of their church and school facilities and grounds. He is faithful in his work and volunteers his time willingly, providing a great source of joy to all members of the con congregation. From Trinity Lutheran Church, the winner, Will Holison. <laughs> Our final award winner of the evening from Trinity Lutheran School is Mr. Jim Rehack. Jim is a true blessing to the Trinity Lutheran School. For so many years, he has faithfully volunteered countless hours, helping to maintain our school's facility. Whether it's repairing broken pipes, painting classrooms, or simply changing light bulbs, he is always there and ready to assist. From Trinity Lutheran School, the honoree, Jim Rehack. Please, a warm round of applause for all of our award winners here this evening. Over the course of this evening, you have watched as a group of dedicated and caring people were recognized for their efforts to this village of Lansing. The Volunteer Recognition Committee sincerely thanks all of the organizations who nominated a winner, as well as all of you for making this event a special one. If you enjoyed the evening, please tell others about it. And if you know of another Lansing volunteer program that you did not see represented here tonight, make sure you let them know that we would love to include them in 2009. I leave you with one last quote tonight before I wash Suzanne Long's car. This one's from G. Donald Gale, president of a national communication corporation. One of our themes tonight was viewing our world with optimism instead of pessimism. And Mr. Gale says this about the giving nature of volunteers. A pessimist, they say, sees a glass of water as being half empty. An optimist sees the same glass as half full. But a giving person, like our honorees here tonight, sees a glass of water and starts looking for someone who might be thirsty. Thanks to all of you for coming. Please drive home safely. We look forward to seeing you all back for the 2009 evening of thanks. Good night.